The Kurzweil PC4 is a multi timbral powerhouse. It has workstation-like capabilities and a lot of power under its hood. But thankfully, the Kurzweil engineers have made it extremely easy to use. For example, if we want to create a simple split, it's very, very, very easy to do. Right here we have a standard piano patch. This is the first one that loads up when you turn it on. Beautiful sounding nine foot grand piano. If we want to create a split, there's a dedicated button right here. And now it's split. We have bass down in the bottom, piano on the top. And it automatically makes it so the piano sustains, but the bass does not. Just one of the smart little features that the Kurzweil engineers put in. Likewise, if we want to create a layer, it's the exact same process. There's a layer soft button right next to the split soft button. Press that, and we've got our piano now with strings underneath. Now let's say that we want the strings to only be under the middle part of the piano and not the entire range. So how do we change our layer key range? This goes for split points as well. This is extremely easy. We simply navigate using our navigation buttons over to the bottom of the key range on layer two, which is our strings. And we can use the wheel to set the range. But even more simple, we can hold down enter and press the key that we want the bottom range to be, in this case, G3. Likewise, if we navigate over to the top part of our range, we can hold enter, press the top key for our range, and now we have our strings only from G3 to G5. Down here, they're not there, and up here, they're not there. Muting a zone in our multi is actually very easy as well. The first four zones are automatically routed to the buttons under the faders here. So if we want to turn off that string sound that we just made, we simply press button two and now it's off. Likewise, we can turn the strings on and mute the piano by pressing button one. And there we go. And of course that can be assigned to a knob or a button or a slider or anything else we want, a sustain pedal. So we could actually turn that zone on and off with a sustain pedal. Or since the PC4 has two switch inputs, we could use the second switch input to turn that off and on, whatever we want. It's very, very powerful. So now that we have our string sound and our piano together, let's say we want the strings to be an octave below. To do that, we have to save this multi that we just created. So we press the save button and we can call it any name we want, but let's just use the default. We hit save and there it is. And now we go into edit mode and see many more functions available for the soft buttons at the bottom of the screen. We go into main, we choose which zone we're working on, in this case number two, which is our strings. And right at the top is transpose. We can use our wheel to transpose those down an octave. We could put them a fifth if we wanted to. Very strange, you can do whatever you want. There are many more parameters in here that we won't get into in this video, but it's worth exploring and seeing how many things you can do per zone in these multis. It's extremely powerful. When it comes to editing our programs, which make up our multis, it's very simple as well. Here we have a classic sawtooth pad. Very analog sounding. Our controllers right now, they default to filter here, filter resonance on this slider. And our mod wheel is vibrato. And that's fine and good, but let's say we want to put the filter on the mod wheel instead. How do we change that? It's actually very, very simple. We go into edit and we go to our parameters page, which is where we are right now. And here we can see a list of all the different parameters we can affect and the controllers that are affecting them. And we can actually just cycle through these with the wheel. You can see there's a lot of them. So let's find our filter frequency. There it is right there. Right now it's assigned to slider one. 
and likewise vibrato is assigned to the mod wheel. So let's turn that off. We're going to take that off the mod wheel right now. Just set it to none. Scroll down to our filter frequency again. That's on slider one. And we can now again use our quick entry. So to assign the mod wheel to filter frequency, we can hold down enter. And while holding enter, we simply touch the mod wheel. And now, as we can see on the screen, the mod wheel is affecting filter frequency. So if we play a little bit. There we go. It's that simple. Other basic editing features are located in the DSP control menu. Here we can see that this particular sound is composed of five different layers. We can cycle through the layers using our channel up and down zone track buttons here. We can solo layers using our mode buttons. So the top button is, is solo, layer. Middle button is mute, the active layer. The third button bypasses the effect so we can hear the sound on its own. And the fourth button is our compare mode. So we can compare our edited version to the version that's actually saved. So for example, let's change the pitch of this particular layer. This is layer one of five. We're on pitch right now. Very simple. What is layer two? Let's solo it and find out. It's the same sound, but in the other channel, on the left channel. So likewise, we can change the pitch of this one. Let's put an octave down. turn our effects back on. By default, the second to last slider is usually delay, so we turn that on and we get some nice delay. The seventh slider is usually chorus or phasing or some kind of modulation. Now let's compare that to the original. made a much thicker, fatter sound in just a couple of seconds. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your interest in the PC4.